Okay, let's focus here. Oh no. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is the came uh, the Kindle. <laughs> this is the BlackBerry Playbook, uh, not the Kindle Fire, which I returned. Um, so right here we're on the videos section. I actually uh, threw on some videos onto here using the uh, little application that they include, where you put on your computer and you just drag your videos, pictures, music, or whatever. And you can also back up your device to another computer. Uh, so I threw on a couple of videos of like Revenge just to test it out. And it's really good. This thing handles a video like a champ. So click on that, Previously and this is just, like, straight up and threw it on there, you know, like, I didn't convert it or anything, and uh, it's not choppy, it's perfect, and I can fast forward, and as you can hear, the speakers are actually loud and really good. Um, they're stereo speakers, and they're front-facing, so there's one there, and one there. So we got stereo sound. And it sounds good. So, um, let's pause this. Now what you can do with the playbook is really cool. Um, this whole border here is a capacitive touch. So what you do to bring up like settings, you would pull down from the top, and then whatever application you're in, that brings up the settings for that application. If you don't want to do that, let's say you want to exit out of this, you push up, and then it'll bring you to any of your other open applications right now. Uh, right now I just have our web browser and our movie, but I wanted to open up a book. Click on that. And it'll take forever for some reason, because it's... This is the, um, the beta, version 2.0 beta of... Um, the BlackBerry software. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it took two tries, but we'll uh, we'll get the kinks worked out, right, BlackBerry? So this is my book application. Uh, really nice. It uh, allows you to really change a lot of settings. Um, you can change the font, you know, by like all kinds of different increments, spacing. Pick from a crap ton of different fonts and whatnot, and I made it so that I was um, sepia instead of white or black, but you can do black as well, and just go like that, and you're reading, and I, of course, read like this, so, so, yeah, you get the point for that, uh, so we swipe up, swipe up, we got all of our applications open here, now let's say you want to get rid of an application, right? So it's just like WebOS, you just flick it up and it's gone. And these are our two applications. Uh, if we want to see all of our applications, not the ones, these are the open applications that are open, but let's say we just want to go back to all of our apps, just push up again, and we're at all of our applications. A couple pages there. Uh, very light and smooth, very responsive, everything is buttery smooth, like you wish the, uh, the Kindle Fire would have been, unfortunately. Um, what else can I show you? So the browser, super nice browser. Um, if you want, you could do full screen browsing on this, which I know you like. So push that button there, and bam, you got no um, search bar or address bar. And you just pull down to pull that back up, and you can I like mine, so I'm gonna lock it back in there. Um, really good tab browsing. It'll it has a picture just like on like you know high quality desktop browsers. So if we have a new tab open, and let's go to my streams for Team Liquid, and we'll just go back to the home page, and you click on tabs, and now you got a real view of your tabs that are open right now. Really cool, nice browser. Um, I actually like this browser more than any of the desktop browsers I've used. That's how good it is. Uh, you got downloads where you can download stuff. Here. This is, this is my that was Flash Video playing. Close. This place inspires me to be tougher. It's really smooth. Unbelievably smooth. I don't know how they do it. It's great. Faster. So close that tab and go back into here. Uh, it's my Gmail. So we'll go flip up. And up again. And these are all our apps. Uh, they have their app world store. And it has not a lot of apps in it, but who cares? I will just put on whatever I want. 
Uh, I gotta look for an RSS reader or add the Google one soon, and also maybe like a radio thing. Um, got Winamp here, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to use that to listen to all your music, um, it's a nice app. Close that. And that app is an Android app, so it's running in what they call the Android Player, which automatically does it for you. I don't know how it works. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, any of the all these apps over here are Android. Uh, it comes with a really nice browser to browse through your files, and you can actually cut and paste and copy things to different folders. Uh, which is really nice. That's what I do for my books. Uh, just overall, really much smoother. Uh, way smoother and better than the Fire. A full-blown operating system. It's got camera with 1080p recording. So, it's just really high-quality stuff. Uh, Front-facing camera. If you get one, we could do video chatting, even though we'll like never do that. It has it. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, it's really like a secure tablet too they say like it asks you for passwords for stuff you can turn it off of course um, but whenever you do anything important it's password protected uh, you can even set it for when it unlocks to ask for your password every time it's got a really nice calendar here and date and time um, the, I showed you those buttons already on the top which are really nice play and pause and volume up and down and then the power button uh, you got your settings here. If you click on the battery, it'll tell you the percentage left, and you can also restart, standby, or turn off, just like a computer. Uh, quick access to your brightness here. Wi-Fi setting right there to turn off and on Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, orientation lock, all easily accessible in the top right corner there at all times. Um, podcasts, music, YouTube is all preloaded with Facebook and Twitter. All loaded on there. Um, comes with a couple free games, and um, the weather app is really cool, even though I probably won't use it that often. It's a really nice app. Oh, I reset after I upgraded the operating system. So, bam, and you got like a really nice readout here, um, hourly, and do the maps, and when the sunset's going to go, and then you just click there for the next day. Super nice, smooth app. Um... I wish more people were into this, because this is a nice tablet. Um, developers, I mean, this is on par with, I'm talking about quality of the operating system and the smoothness of everything is on par with, with the iPad. I mean, um, the Android tablets are not this smooth and fluid and fluid. <laughs> um, they're not, there's not. Um, this is really well thought out, but because it's from some corporate, you know, phone maker... I don't think a lot of people are developing for it, but uh, it's a nice tablet, so definitely get it if you can get it for 200 bucks. it's a fucking steal.